In Ms. Marvel Episode 1, when Kamala is detailing her plan to Bruno, we can spot a Captain Marvel clock on the wall of her bedroom. This depiction of Captain Marvel is from the cover of Captain Marvel Volume 1. Higher, Further, Faster, More by Kelly Sue DeConnick. In Ms. Marvel Episode 1, Avenger Khan is held at Camp Lehigh, which we first learned about in Captain America The First Avenger. It's the military base where Steve Rogers trained and where he was eventually chosen for the Super Soldier program. It's also where S.H.I.E.L.D. operated out of following World War II. In Ms. Marvel Episode 1, Zoe's Captain Marvel costume for the cosplay contest is a nod to the suit Carol Danvers originally wore in Ms. Marvel issue number 1 from 1977. Her costume even incorporates a sash around Zoe's waist, which is similar to Ms. Marvel's scarf that she wore at the time. In Ms. Marvel Episode 1, there's a beautiful and heartbreaking tribute to Natasha and Tony for their sacrifice in defeating Thanos during Avengers Endgame. In Ms. Marvel Episode 1, during the Ms. Marvel closing credits, we can spot a drawing on a wall that is a nod to the iconic cover art from Ms. Marvel issue number 1 from 2014 by G. Willow Wilson. And finally, in Ms. Marvel episode 1, post credits scene, we see that the Department of Damage Control know about Kamala's little powers outburst at Avenger Con. Most notably, Agent P, Cleary appears again, who we first met in Spider-Man No Way Home when he brought Peter into the police station. The DODC also first appeared in Spider-Man Homecoming.